Look at how hectic this battle is already in the middle, guys. There is so much damage going on already. G'day guys, Ballistic Ape here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft Clay Soldiers. So as you guys can see, I'm here today in the Heaven vs Hell map. So we're going to be having plenty of epic battles today. We're going to be trying out a bunch of troop combinations with all different items and stuff like that. They're going to have all sorts of cool abilities, and it's going to be an awesome episode. Alright, and as you can see, we have two epic castles here today. We have the Heaven side over here, which is the White Castle with snow and all sorts of stuff like that. This is where the good team is going to be. So we're going to be spawning in White Clay Soldiers to represent angels or something something like that, whatever you want. And in here are all the items we're going to be using to arm them up and give them all sorts of crazy abilities and stuff like that. And if we take a look over at the other side of the map here, we're going to be looking at the demon side or the devils. This is where we're going to be putting the evil team. So we got the red clay soldiers for this guys, as it does match the whole environment and everything like that. And in here is all the fireballs and armor and stuff we're going to be using to armor up the devils. So guys, I think before we start the main battles, I'm going to do a little battle first just to test out like a 1v1 situation and see how they do against each other with their own abilities. So guys, if you want to get a shout out in my next video what you have to do is like the video subscribe and hit the notification bell and you have to comment the winning team so no cheating guys you have to guess right now go down to the comment section comment who's going to win the angels or the demons if you do all three of those steps and you predict the right answer of the winner without cheating you guys will win a shout out for my next video all right so the clay soldier abilities we're going to be testing out are the emerald and the fire charges so guys what the emerald block does it allows the clay soldiers to shoot lightning blocks at the enemy so that's that's a really awesome ability it's probably one of my favorite ones out of the clay soldier mod and what the fire charge does pretty much is what you expect it allows them to shoot fireballs at the clay soldiers that's also another one of my favorite abilities all right so let's go down now and place down the demon so let's let's go ahead and drop him on his side he's gonna blend in there he's like blending with the netherrack perfectly and let's go ahead now and drop down his fire charge there we go he's picked up his little fireball now you can see in his hand he's got like a block of obsidian and that does mean he can shoot fireballs so now i can go ahead and give him some glasses so we can see the enemies a little bit better all right there we go he's going and grab some glasses now all right i'm gonna go ahead now and drop the angel down over here on the white side and we're gonna see how these two react all right let's drop down his glasses and the emeralds and here we go they're gonna go into a little fight here now they're going into battle here he's chucking fireballs over at him doing quite a bit of damage as you can see right there he's already on fire he's shooting lightning bolts back at him right there probably doing a really good amount of damage but we can't really tell yet and there we go so it does look like the demons actually win in a 1v1 fight so i'm gonna have to keep that in mind when i go for the the main battle i'm gonna have to put in a little bit more angels or maybe even some turrets up to help shoot down the demons and as i said guys we're gonna have like two or three battles today starting off pretty small like maybe 15 guys we're gonna move up to a massive 100 versus 100 at the end of the episode so guys make sure you stick around for that righty guys i'm over here on the demon side of the map we're gonna start spawning in some guys now so as i said before we maybe we'll probably start off with just one or two stacks not too many that's gonna be around 30 yep there we go so let's drop down their fire charges their glasses and we might give them some armor as well as you can see right now the leather does give them like a little chest plate which helps protect them from a little bit of damage all right now that we've got all those guys spawned in let's go over here now to the angel side of the map and let's drop in another 32 all right there we go i dropped in a little bit more angels this time so i dropped in about 35 instead of 32 um, because they did struggle a little bit in that 1v1 scenario all right let's drop them down their glass their emeralds and of course their leather armor as well and they're gonna be fully suited up to take on the demons all right looks like they're about ready to fight now so we're gonna be going into the first battle here and guys remember to drop a like on this video let's try and smash 200 likes in today's episode it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more of episodes like this so anyway guys drop a like down below and without further ado let's get on to the video as you can see on my little display over here we have 32 red guys and 35 angels over here so now we are ready to start the fight guys so what we have to do over here is come down over here and uh, break down the barricades which are holding them in so let's go ahead now and break open a couple of these here's a little trick guys you can drop a random clay soldier down to get them to come over so let's lure the white guys out onto the field right here let's lure all the angels out into the middle of the map and now we can go ahead and bring out the demons guys here we go right here we go the fireball guys are ready to go let's drop down the gray clay soldiers to lure them all out they should be seeing each other in a couple seconds here so hopefully they don't run in the lava a couple of them just drop down but here we go guys here come the angels over to start fighting it's already really loud but those fireballs flying absolutely everywhere right now you can see the angels have actually caught on fire already that is not good guys but so far there's so much much damage going let's take out the clay display here 
As you can see, the numbers are pretty even so far. We have 20 white and 20 devils left, guys. It's kind of hard to see on this background, but it is looking pretty good so far. Right, 17 angels left. They are still shooting their lightning bolts at the red guys here. And oh, this guy just got knocked off the map. There they go, guys. They're going flying down off the edge there. But we're down to four demons and 15 angels left. A lot of them just got left behind over there. They didn't, they didn't even really need to fight that much. It looks like the angels are so powerful with their lightning bolts. So I only dropped in an extra three angels, but it seems they actually do a lot better in the group scenario guys so now we're going to go ahead onto the even bigger battle now we're probably going to drop in about 64 it's going to be much bigger than this one and it's going to be so awesome i've almost spawned in about 100 demons guys so as you can see they have like little yellow stripes under their armor now that means their armor has been upgraded so there we go it looks like they're armored up and this time i'm only going to spawn in 80 angels since they completely obliterated last round they did really well so we're going to give the demons a little bit of an advantage in this round by giving them less clay soldiers and we're also going to give them some upgraded armor here we're going to drop down some blue wool as well so they get some upgraded armor as well and to mix it up on this next round a little bit i'm going to give them some snow horses here so let's go down and drop down 16 horses and for the demon team guys we're going to be dropping in some turtles these things actually fit in with the whole health theme really well they're going to jump on those and we're going to be ready for the second round and for the second round as well we're going to be dropping down some of these clay spawners here these actually act as clay defense turret i can go ahead and drop in a fire charge there and this is actually going to shoot lightning now at the other clay soldiers so it's actually a really beast feature let's go ahead now and drop in the angel turret so there we go they've got their lightning in there as well so that looks pretty good now now let's go ahead and open up the gates. Let all the clay soldiers start running out. So now we can go over to the white team. Uh, let's drop a clay soldier to lure them all out here. And we're going to be getting ready for the second round. All right, they should be seeing each other any second now. I'm going to go ahead now and turn on the defense turrets. So they're going to start shooting now. There we go. The defense turrets are already starting to shoot at some of the enemies right there. And there we go, guys. They're running into battle right now. The lightning bolts are flying absolutely everywhere. You can see heaps of them are already on fire right now. As you can see, the top left of the screen there, we are seeing a big drop in the angel team right there. Their numbers are dropping really fast. But these clay turrets are doing such a good job. You can see them just shooting lightning bolts from across the map. But it's kind of hard to see on this dark red background, but lucky for the clay display up there. We can see that the red team is dominating at the moment with a 20 point lead. So they're doing really well against the angels right now. I think they might've run out of fireball. So that's a really big problem. Cause that means um, they're gonna have to go into hand to hand combat and that is not gonna be good for them when they're facing the huge lightning strikes from the white team. All right, so the clay turret, as you can see, is just launching lightning bolts everywhere. It is zapping those clay soldiers off the sides of the map there. I wonder how many have fallen over. Probably heaps. But numbers are actually evening out right now, surprisingly. We are down. We are neck and neck at the moment. 12 all. Getting down to the last few clay soldiers. I wonder who's going to come out of this one alive, guys. But there we go. The numbers are still slowly evening out. I'm going to have to turn off these um, spawners because they are spawning in more clay soldiers. But here we go. We're down to the last 10 on each team here. Uh, we still have a couple of the white team on the horses. That does give them a bit of a speed and attack advantage for them. Luckily for those guys. Here we go. Down to the last five demons. These guys have no armor left. They are absolutely hammered, guys. They've got no armor and no weapons left. It is not looking good. And there we go. There's the last guy left. He does get taken out, unfortunately. So good job to you guys who did predict the second round to be won by the angels. Right, guys, we are on to the final round here. We have 160 demons over here. We're going to go ahead now and drop them all of their weapons now. Dropping the fire charges, their glasses, and also their armor. Um, we're going to drop them some more upgraded armor as well. And this time, we're going to give them a little bit more of an advantage as well with some blaze rods. If you don't know what blaze rods do, it's pretty much just a flame sword for the clay soldier. It is so beast. So there we go. They are picking up their flame swords now. These guys are so stacked. They look so cool, guys. I really want this team to win since they are just so beast looking with their fireballs and everything. But anyways, now onto the angel team. Let's go ahead now and spawn in around about the same numbers. So we have to spawn in about 100 and... About 180 or something like that. Let's drop down their emerald blocks for their lightning charges. Their glasses so they can see better. More armor. And I think the, the mounts worked really well last time. So I'm going to drop in some more of those as well. And instead of just one clay turret, this time we're going to add in a whole three turrets. This is going to be so beast. So there we go. We have three on the angel team and three on the demon team. This is going to be so hectic, guys. Make sure you drop a like for more epic fights like this. This fight is going to be so insane. So let's go ahead now and let out the demons out of their little gate over here. Let's break it down. They're going to come charging out not yet though we're going to drop down that little soldier to lure them out so let's drop a soldier down over there to bring those guys over into the center of the map and here we go guys let's let out the angels out of their massive area here they're going to start running out we're going to drop down the soldiers as well to lure them all out and get them all ready for battle so here we go guys these angels are going to come rushing over to demons look at how hectic this battle is already in the middle guys there is so much damage going on already look at all these particles flying everywhere there's already like so much um there's already like so many dead bodies going everywhere so many items flying all over the place but so far, as you can see on the display here, we are dropping really fast already. 
We are down to 60 angels and we still have like 100 demons left. It's not looking good for the angel team right now. Unfortunately, they are not doing too well in this final battle. But look at these turrets go. They are just launching fireballs off at the enemy team already. They're coming from flying all over the place. And it looks like the turrets in the back are actually doing a really good job as well. So here we go. We're down to like 10 more soldiers. We're going to let this battle play out a little bit. They are actually going to keep respawning at the next... Uh, that's kind of what we want right now since they do have such a massive lead, guys. They completely crushed it in the first couple seconds there. I think they killed off like 100 in a couple seconds. These guys are so insane. Let's see how good the white team can handle against 30 demons. This is not looking too good, guys. Right down to the last five, guys. It is not going to be a win. There's nothing they can do. A couple of unarmored angels against 30 devils. So there we go, guys. The red team did end up winning that final round. Good job if you guys did predict that one. You will be getting a shout out if you did get that right. So anyway, guys, wrapping it up with 27 demons left. I really do hope you did enjoy this episode. And remember to check out some of my other videos after this one as well. I will be putting them up on the screen right now. So you guys can just go ahead and click on those. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.